Bob. Hey, congratulations for ultrasound. Thanks, Jeez. How's it going? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. This is a this is such a very unique film. So I, I want to know what initially attracted you to a project like this. Uh, the script. You know, I read the script and um, and then Rob, you know, called me and gave me his pitch and. Uh, you know, I didn't get the script until a week and a half before shooting, so there wasn't a whole lot of time. So I didn't get time to really look at the graphic novel, and uh, I tend to be that way anyway. With when it's adapted material, I just want to look at the script, and if the script is good, if I get too biased, like you know, reading the material and just expecting, it's like if the script's got to be right, then it'll work. And so I really was excited to jump in. I mean, I knew Rob. Um, after his pitch, I, I thought, okay, this could be something really great. If he executes this right, I think this could be really great. And he did. He did a great job. So let, let, let's be honest. How, how many times did you have to read the script to figure out what's real and what's not real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's a lot easier watching the movie than reading the script. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, there was definitely, um, yeah, there was definitely a lot of questions. I mean, it, I always laugh because I would I would look at a scene and I would I I, I kind of took it uh, I kind of took it as we were shooting I took it sort of scene by scene um, so that that so that I could kind of figure out like where everything was and I would ask Rob a question and thinking I know it I go oh it's because of this this and he goes no it's not that I'm like oh man I thought I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> So luckily he was so on it and knows everything about it. So, so on, on set, when you're, when you're playing art, how do you keep everything straight for yourself or do you just take it scene by scene? Yeah. I, I, I uh, people ask me that a lot. I, I didn't, I didn't really have to keep things uh, straight. I, you know, I always approached it as if I was the only one, that was manipulating everybody. And so I was just going about my business. I, I, I didn't, my character did, didn't really have, I mean, and I'm not saying I'm not being manipulated, maybe down the road, something like that happens, but I, I played it like I knew what was going on. You know, I played it like I was on my own path and I was juggling all these balls, trying to keep everything <laughs> straight. Um, and so it was a little bit maybe easier for me than, you know, some of the other actors. They, you know, they, they had a lot of flip-flopping. Yeah, a lot of the stuff I've seen you before tend, tend to be uh, comedies. This is a psychological thriller. Do you, do you uh, venture off out of comedies uh, quite a bit? I, you know, it's funny. I do. I, I, like on TV, I do a lot of uh, drama stuff. I, I came up, you know, I did a bunch of Fincher movies when I first started. And uh, I don't know why maybe it's because i'm a little dry or sarcastic or something so it it plays and uh, it crosses over to drama i guess i mean i like doing it all so <laughs> <laughs> so what do you suppose um was the most challenging thing about playing uh art uh, for, for you um i would say i would say Keep, there was, you know, a couple of scenes kind of keeping up with, you know, where I was, you know, when I'm manipulating this person and what's happening in this scene and just, you know, being reminded before every scene exactly where I'm at and, you know, what just happened before, what's about to happen after. And um, so that trying to keep the character, uh, you know, consistent, you know, without otherwise, like, you know, without being up and down emotionally so um yeah that, that was probably the biggest challenge. do you do you do you enjoy uh playing art uh as a this sort of like diabolical uh manipulator in his own way and uh and against uh which character or actor that you you enjoyed uh, manipulating the most oh. <laughs> yes i did enjoy it i mean i i would i was saying i keep saying to rob like you gotta make this a streaming thing man this would be great if it was like a 10 part four season i mean there's so much material in the graphic novels but art's awesome i would i love playing him um uh 
I thought, you know, I loved the idea when I was reading the script with the senator because he's the other one that thinks he's actually the one manipulating people and he's doing things. And then, you know, it, it's, and, you know, without giving anything away, like it, it's just, it's interesting to see, you know, how, how I work that, how that, like, that's on the edge. The whole thing's about to fall apart and, and how art like pulls it back in and tries to, you know, tries to keep it going. But yeah, I think that was interesting. So um, since then, did you manage to pick up the uh, graphic graphic novel uh, just to uh, just to catch up on things, just to ma match things? Or yeah, well, we we had we had him. Rob sent him all to me. I mean, he just finished one. I don't I don't have the newest one because he was he's still going on him. Like he just he just finished one. I think like last year or something. And uh, so yeah, Connor just finished another one. Like so he was doing one while we were shooting back in that. But uh, but he sent me, Rob sent us links to everything. So I looked at, you know, I read through all those. And, yeah. Great. Well, what, one more thing, Bob. I mean, this, this entire story is, you know, it's all about manipulation, hypnotism and, and stuff. Do you believe in this stuff yourself? Um, yes and no. I mean, I know people that have been hypnotized. I haven't. I think Chelsea said she went out and got hypnotized when she got this part. Um, I mean, I, I, you know, I suppose for some people it probably works, but who's to say somebody won't figure out a way to do it in the future? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you don't suppose you're easily hypnotized is, is, is basically, or you I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I would be easily, but I don't know. I have no idea. That's a judgment. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. Well, thank you very much, Bob, uh, for speaking to us. We really appreciate it. And hopefully we get to do this again. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.